Okay, we're looking at the read data method. The purpose of the read data method is to read data from a text file into the array list and you will see on your notes that the read data method is always called from the constructor of the manager class. In this case, uh, the participant has a name, an age and a score and therefore we need those three variables to read the name, age and score from the text file. The stream reader and the end of stream is, data, is basic uh, constructors that you always use uh, when you do the read data. So let's look what happens inside the while loop. For every participant, you read the participant's name, age, and score. Notice the SR instead of console when you read from the keyboard. The SR is linked to, at the top you declare the object SR to read from data.dat. And then very important, after you've read in the three, you need to create the participant. And in this case, you're calling the second constructor in the class participant. Uh, remember, the original constructor does not read score in as a parameter because it just sets it to zero. But in this case, the score has already been saved in the text file. So you must send through name, age, and score when you create the participant. At the bottom, you'll see there's the constructor participant from the, part, uh, the unit class. I've just added it at the bottom so you can see in this case, score is now initialized from the parameter.